good evening friends today we'll be talking about the recent practices of note issue or the recent principles of note issue yesterday we had talked about fundamentally two issues two principles rather one was banking principle and the other was currency principle in banking principle no need of backing by government of gold in currency principle there was backing of gold but recently the central government uh, central bank of india that is rbi or the monetary authority of the government of india keeps on printing currency and minting coins against certain principles which are dynamic in nature with the times of the economic progress which means every economy undergoes or takes into consideration different phases of economic cycles what are they some economies might be in recession while some others are in growth phase some economies might be in growth phase and the other economies might have reached their peak they might have about to start the recession so likewise these are phases of economic cycles so accordingly every bank every central bank of every country it tweaks or it changes its principles of note issue according to the situation as in how the situation demands the printing of currency takes place so banking principle and currency principle are somewhat rigid in nature apart from that some governments they try to form a midway between these two principles according to the circumstances or changing times of economy now what is that principle fixed fiduciary issue the word important here is fiduciary what is fiduciary fiduciary means trust now why we are talking about trust here is because the government believes that if it issues currency back into the system people will spend right and on the contrary people also believe that in times of recession there will be easy availability of money which means credit interest rates will be down during recession they believe and credit interest rates will go up as soon as the economy starts picking up so these all these things government printing money people spending is based on what it's based on trust so what does happen in that case government or monetary authority can issue currency up to a certain level without backing of gold this is one thing exactly the other opposite beyond the limit expansion of currency has to be backed by gold to the extent of value of currency being issued pay little attention over there what does it say this says that it's a combination of both the principles banking principle and currency principle no limit limit to the extent of value of currency right so why this case why this case if you do this without backing of gold after a certain limit after a certain limit limit means what here the limit is from is between the range when the economy is at its lowest peak or when it's started to go into recession to the time when the recession is going to go away so that is the certain limit we are talking about between these limits that is when the economy is going into a recession and when the economy is coming out of recession till in this time period any currency that is being printed is not backed by gold without the backing of gold the moment economy shows the signs of recovery and growth currency is printed and it is backed by gold 
to the extent of value of the currency that is being printed. Now, why in this case? Like we discussed yesterday, here in this case, since it is in recession, it wants the people to spend because they are not having money to spend. Here, if you start, if you keep on spending, what will happen? More money buying, less fewer goods, inflation starts to come in, right? Here, if you don't do that, economy might go into deflation. Here, if you do this, after a certain limit, economy might go into the inflation. This is what is being done by, this is how RBI functions, to control inflation and to come out of deflation. What do you do? In deflation, you try to push money into the system so that people start spending. When people start spending, economy shows signs of recovery. And when signs of recovery are there, economy is on the path of growth. Too much growth? Too much growth is harmful to the economy. So to control that, what does it do here? It prints currency backed by gold to the extent of value of currency. It means how much gold is to be placed? value of currency being issued. This is these two limits without limit and with limit or sorry without backing and with backing is what we call it as fiduciary limit. This is what limit of trust. Trust as I explained to you. Under this practice during contraction recession fiduciary limit is raised without backing of gold. In other words this is what exactly terminology this is what we mean to say. Economics or economists or central bank authorities, they use these terms. This are used for your common understanding. This is same as this. Insufficient monetary low stocks may lead to contraction of currency. Now, why does currency happen? Currency contraction happens because of insufficient monetary metal. That is, monetary metal here means gold. Right? This is, this if, if there is no gold here at this point of time, that is when the economy is growing up, when it's showing signs of recovery, if it is not having insufficient, if it is having insufficient gold, insufficient monetary metals, low stocks, it may lead to contraction of currency. Because here you require, you here also you require money, but it has to be backed by gold in this phase of economy, when the economy is growing up. Why? People will need money for investments. Here people will need money for consumption. Here people will need for investments, for production and distribution of goods and services. Right? So, if at this point of time, if there are insufficient metals, that is insufficient gold to print money, this, at that point of time, it may lead to contraction of currency. What will happen if there is currency is less in the market? Or if there is no, if there are no currency being issued by the government, what happens in that case? In that case, again, we have immediate onset of recession because there is no money that has to be invested. And if investments are not made, employment is not going to there. If employment is not there, income levels are not going to rise. Income levels are going to fall. Savings will not be there. People will not spend. They start losing confidence in the economy. So, if the economy is doing well, it's a sign that government should start investing in or government should have gold at its disposal. Means what? When the economy is doing about to do better, government starts buying gold. And the moment the government starts buying gold, I'm giving you a slight hint here when the gold prices are going to rise. Gold prices rise when the government intervenes to buy. These are the signs. When the economy is doing well, my dear friends, always remember that the prices of gold, they are going to shoot up. That is a sign. In other words, if you ask anyone, you are not doing well, you are looking pale. So what do you do? You see the temperature. If there is temperature means there is fever. If there is fever means there, is, there has to be temperature. So accordingly, this is what the example here is. If the gold is rising means what? The economy is doing well. And if the economy is doing well, means what? It is going to result in higher gold prices. So, this is one form of principle of note issue.
that's all for now don't get panic don't be this thing watch this lecture time and again look around newspapers what are the th things are happening you'll come to know you'll understand a lot better initially my friends i told you things are going to get little bit little bit difficult but don't worry everything will be done in a very deep in a very slow profound manner don't worry thank you that's all for now